Welcome to Riverside. We look forward to meeting your children in September of 2022. We have three counselors at Riverside, Ms. Joe Hall, Ms. Ledoux, and Ms. Chittenden. We are split up by alphabet and you can see our alpha allocations below. Anytime you need to reach one of the counselors, please look to the Riverside website. Our email addresses are located there. The school organization is four classes each day. We do have some linear courses which run from September all the way until June. The linear courses include concert band, concert choir, vocal jazz, jazz band slash strings, and performing arts leadership. Our other courses are run by semester and one semester is September till January and the second semester is February until June. At Riverside, we have the STREAM program where students will be meeting with the same teacher in a multi-grade setting with approximately 20 students, and they will meet with those students once every other week on a Wednesday for their four years. It's a great time to connect with other students, meet students from other grades, and uh, work with a teacher that you might actually not have a class with and learn some new interesting things. When your child is at Riverside next year, we do recommend that they use their technology to stay organized. There's a lot of great apps and tricks uh, to be able to use that technology effectively. Also, we really encourage them to ask teachers for help. Teachers are available after school to answer questions or sometimes at lunch. And it's really imperative that they complete their assignments on time. Riverside does have peer tutors available as well if a student would like to access that support. The Riverside Peer Tutoring Program are trained Riverside students who volunteer to help their peers in academic areas. Peer tutoring forms can be found on the Riverside website and the tutoring is, often, is offered in the school library. Riverside is a digital one-to-one -one program. All students will have a device, whether it be a laptop or a tablet, we do recommend that the device should have at least a 10 inch screen, 16 gigs of memory, a camera and a protective case. If a student does not have a device at home, that is okay. We have lots at the school that students can borrow. They sign them out in September and they return them in June. We also have a team of tech, tech tutors who are available to assist students with any technical issues they may experience as well as the wave desk which is an area where students can also receive tech support in our library. Riverside has an excellent student services department at Riverside. If your child is currently receiving support in your learning center or through the skill development program those needs of your child will be articulated to Riverside and we will support them as well at our school. We also have an excellent ELL program. So if your child is taking ELL courses at their middle school, they will continue to progress through our courses here at Riverside. There are many ways to get involved at our school. We really recommend that all students take advantage of every opportunity, whether it be an athletic team, a club, musical theater, any of our trips when we're able to resume those again, or our volunteering programs. Some examples of our clubs are the American Sign Language Club, Improv Troupe, Dungeons and Dragons, LGBTQ, the Flying, Flying Club, etc. In September, we offer a club day where students are able to see and hear about all of the clubs that we have to offer at Riverside. And sometimes we'll even have grade nine students who come in and they actually start their own club at the school, which we always love to see. Students who are in our English program, we will have English 9, Math 9, Socials, Science, and PE. The Digital Literacy course is an additional course that is integrated into the courses that I mentioned above. Each student will be able to choose three electives. Our French Immersion students will have Francais 9, Science Humaine 9, Conversation 10, English, Math, Science, and um, Education Physique et Santé, which is our PE course. Their digital literacy will also be inter integrated into the above courses and they will have one elective to pick. 
Our math program has a few different options. So students can enter into Math 9 or Math 9 Adapted. If students are entering into our Math 9 program, they do have the option of also taking Math 9 support, which is offered before school at 8, 10 in the morning to offer some additional support for students. If students have had a really challenging time with grade eight math, Math 9 Adapted might be an option. The best person to speak to about this would be your child's math teacher this year. Adding choice to your program. Most students select three electives in the English program. One of those electives, it could be a second language. However, it is important to note that a second language is not required for graduation. It is only required for direct entry, entry into certain universities after high school. It's important to choose electives from a variety of areas and French immersion electives are also available to students. Here's a list of all the electives that Riverside has for grade nine students. The course descriptions are located in the course description booklet that has, is going home with your child. And they're also located on the Riverside website. You'll see that the electives that are in green, those are electives that are only offered to French immersion students. And the electives that are in blue, those run outside of the timetable and are linear courses. The Leadership 10 class does require an application, which your child's home school will have. In regards to second languages, again, it is not required for graduation and it is not required for college admission or BCIT, but it is required for direct entrance from high school into some universities. If a student is wishing to start with a language in grade nine, they could begin with French 9, Spanish 9, or Intro to Italian 9. If a student is wanting to wait and not do a language next year, that is totally fine. If they decide that they do require a language in their senior years of high school, they could start with Intro to Spanish 11, or they could begin with Intro to Italian 11. If a student is wanting to learn French, they do need to begin with grade nine because as you will see in this flow chart, there is not an intro to French. Electives should be taken in sequence. So any class that a student is taking should be at the grade nine or 10 level. If you look at the booklet, that was provided to your child, you will see that most of the electives at Riverside do begin at the 10 level, and that is okay. Those are open to grade nine students. All course descriptions are in the booklet and they're also offered on the Riverside website. Some extra areas where a student can enrich their experience at Riverside, besides clubs and teams, as I already mentioned, are the Leadership 10 class, which requires an application, the Honors courses, which your child will likely have already completed the Honors Assessment, if that is something they are interested in, which it took place in January, or the Riverside Hockey Academy program. The application is required and it is located on the Riverside website. Students living in the Riverside catchment will automatically be pre-transitioned to attend Riverside. If your child is not living in our catchment, it is important that you complete the cross catchment application, which is located on the school district website, www.sd43.bc.ca and is open on February 4th. Cross catchment application does not guarantee approval of the cross catchment request as many factors influence the number of cross catchment requests that a school can take. Please make sure that you complete the cross catchment application and if you intend to, to send your child to Riverside, but you do not live in our catchment area. The course selection sheet that your child will be taking home uh, will look like this. On the left hand side, we have an example of the English sheet. On the right hand side, there is an example of the French sheet. It is important that your child return this sheet 
to their core teacher by February 11th. There is a spot at the bottom for you to sign, and it is really, really important that your child also write three alternate electives on the right-hand side. This is in case the counselors are not able to program, program them into their first elective choices. On the reverse side of the sheet, it indicates what the codes are and what the courses are available to students. Again, the signed course sheet is due to your child's core teacher by February 11th. If you have any questions, please feel free to email your child's counselor. The Riverside Counselor's email addresses are located on the Riverside website. Again, we look forward to meeting your children in September of 2022.